Warning! Unlawful duplication of this video may lead to riots, geological upheavals, illegal spying by previously legitimate security organizations, crack use by politicians, and unnatural congress between species. Besides, you can easily purchase this video for download at relaxharder.com. Warning! Please be advised that This is called double whip as opposed to single whip. Single whip is a bit like this. Double whip is like this. So the right hip moves back around the left hip, like so. The arms do nothing. They extend and then they just go along for the ride. So the right hip drops back, the left hip comes around, and now the left hip drops back and the right leg remains still. Drop the left hip back and twist the waist, bring in the right foot. If you do not twist your waist, your hip will be sticking out and you won't have that rotating power in the hip. Whenever you're standing on one leg, line up the pelvis with that leg and twist your waist. Bring the right foot in, then step out with the right heel, then the toe, then line up the right thigh with the right foot. Then the left hip comes around like so. Now the arm shape does change a little. It's just from the rotating and the changing the shape of the forearms. So you can rotate the right forearm and the left arm sits in a little bit. Don't move your elbows to do it. The right hip drops back. The hands change shape a little. The left hip comes around. Then the hands switch. The left hip drops back. Like so. Then the waist twists and step, place the heel, then the toe, line up the right thigh, and then the left hip goes around. Now, the left hand makes a fist. The right hand drops to the side. And you do that as you bring in the left foot. Step to the left, and line up the left thigh with the left foot. The right hip comes around, bow stance. From here, the right palm turns in and point your fingers at your dantian. Fingers point towards your center, drop your elbow down, and the fingers come up as the left fist comes down. And here, rotate the right hand, palm away, right foot on the heel, left hand makes a fist underneath the right elbow. What you want to avoid is this. Then there won't be any if power. I'm trying to move you sideways, if I'd use my shoulders, that just absorbs the power. But if I keep the shoulders relaxed, the right hip goes around. The more relaxed my shoulders are, the more power I have. But then at the end, mm -hmm. I can sit the wrist and add that. If I grab you from behind, if you're just shaking, pivoting around the center line, it's not going to work. But if you pivot around one hip there, and now pivot around the other hip, and now pivot around the other hip. There. From here, I drop my left hip back, like that. Then my right hip comes around. There's a little bit of power there, and you're resisting, so I drop my right hip back. Now I step, drop my left hip, and now I go around. The hand motion here for double whip is similar idea to Single just done the throw, or attempted to do the throw, and he's engaged, he stepped back with his left foot, like that, and he's engaging here. So I come up to here 
with my left fist, drop the right hand, and then pivot around the left from here, right foot in front, step, pivot around, strike, come up, knee, and fist under the elbow. Forearm leans on the tiger's mouth. The fingers go towards my center. The palm rolls in and I pivot around. You notice I have not yet lifted his hand. He's holding on. I pivot around this and I engage his center. Then this hand comes up to my shoulder and then extend and punch. From here he grabs. I turn. I go a little bit off center, off to his side. Here, grab and punch. Like so that. you bring this up here, and it comes over like that. There, and this is again. This is why we say, "Beware the fist under the elbow." Here, here, I make you think of this, so that I can do this, and I make you think of this, so I can do that. Thank you very much, Kongshui, Zai Jin.